So we are now going to start generating our five front end files. So if you click on getting started, um, you can see ways to generate API scaffold, API scaffold node. But generally what I need to generate is from table. So you click on this from table and chill. It's gonna open um, this section, all right? So now this is the, the code we need to generate something from table, all right? So we're gonna say copy. Generate okay. This is custom table name. No, generate from table. This is the code we need. Sorry, so we copy this code, come to our command prompt, paste it. Let me extend this so you can see it clearly. All right, so this is what it is. We're, we're now going to start adding our table names. Let's get back to our database so that you'll see the table names. Hit enter. Remember in Laravel, your table names must always be in plural. All right. Um, if it's not in plural, then Laravel won't recognize it automatically. So let's see the list of our tables from QR code. These are list of our tables. So we're working with four tables, all right? So we have to generate for QR codes first. Um, so if we come here, the table name is QR codes in plural. So we we'll come here, delete this, type QR codes, and then we get to the model name. You know what is model? We need to take the name from the uh, code. So the model name, if we minimize this, we'll go to app, go to um, HTTP folder. We will see um, the user file. By default, once you create a new Laravel app, Laravel creates a user model for you. So the model in Laravel is usually starting with capital letter and um, ends as singular. All right, so your model name is basically your database name starting with a capital letter and ends as singular. Uh, if, you're, if you're new to Laravel, this might be a little surprise for you. So we're going to delete this and type QR code. That's our model name and these are dat database name. Hit enter. This might take a few seconds, uh, between 5 to 15 seconds, but it will be done. And when it's done, it has generated a lot of files for you. So let me show you around, in case you're new to Laravel, what it has generated, or you're new to this system. If you scroll down to resources, this is where Laravel places all its front end files inside this view. You will now see that there is now a QR code folder. If we open it, we'll see that it has generated how many files? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, blade files for us. Very beautiful. And this is not all. Uh, if we come to our app, we'll see that it has created a models folder. And guess what? It has created a QR code model for us. Look at all the code it wrote for us. So this saved us a lot of time. And how did it do it? It goes to our database, picks everything we have in the database, writes the full code for us. Look at the fillable. It has been filled. This is just awesome. That's not all. It, cr it creates repositories. There are files here called uh, repositories. And then it creates a controller for us. If you go to HTTP controllers, you see that a QR code controller now exists. So Laravel, look at with code, look at store code, it stores, I look at show, it's everything, it has written all this code, and this is just amazing, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so now we have this sorted out, let's go for the rest of the application. So we press the up arrow key on our keyboard, it brings up this, so we check the next table, which is rows, and then we start coding. The table name is rows in plural and the model name is row singular capital letter row this way and we are done we give it a few seconds and then we go for transactions transactions all right so row is done we go for transactions transactions your capital your database must be in all singular all right and all small all small caps all plural sorry and all small caps transactions you must name it this way in Laravel otherwise it won't work then your database name has to be transaction your model name sorry and um, this works and finally we're gonna go for users a little patience and we're good so we'll go for users so we'll press the up arrow and um, we'll do users 
Bir soru. Yüzde kente. Alright. There's something tricky with users, especially if you're coming from Laravel background. You know, by default, if we check this out, where are we? If we check out our Laravel app folder, Laravel comes with a user um, user uh, model by default. You understand? But when we run this uh, command in our command prompt, uh, the Laravel generator creates uh, another user model inside these models. So pay attention to this one. This is the one we'll be using. We never have to touch this outside one again. In fact, you can delete it. We never ever need it for anything again. It's done. All right. So otherwise, you might be making a mistake and be putting some code here and wondering why it's not working. So right click and um, let it go. Cut it loose. Uh, move to recycle bin. So from now on, our user model will always be inside the one inside this place. All right. So that we don't have any mistakes. So I hope this uh, whole thing makes sense. Now to really see the power of what we have done, let us try and run our app and then view it again. PHP Artisan serve. This is how you run apps in Laravel. So it's, our app is now running on this uh, server. That is localhost column 8000. Sorry. Um, if you press Ctrl C on your keyboard, it will exist. So you better don't press Ctrl C. Just memorize it. This thing is the same. This number is the same thing as localhost. So if I go and open a new tab on my browser, I can type localhost. Um, type localhost. Put a colon. Put 8000. Hit enter. So this is um, taking unnecessary time. All right, so there we go. At first sight, it's as if nothing happened because this page we are seeing here is basically the page in, if we go to our resources, if we go to resources, views, we're looking at this home. Uh, no, I think we're looking at this welcome. It wasn't really changed, but when you click on login, for instance, so you see that um, it has redesigned our login page. And let's look at our sign up page. It has redesigned it too. And same thing with when we log in, it's awesome. It has redesigned our entire interface. So, but we'll see it um, starting from the next video. Now, the only thing I want to add is that if you're using Git Bash like me, Git Bash might have issue running your Laravel server. It might take a long time for you to run the server. But uh, what I did was I opened the normal command prompt and ran PHP, navigated to this folder and ran PHP artisan serve. And it worked. All right. So if your Git bash, if your Git bash is slow at running a, a server, you should uh, use a normal um, server. Right. Thank you, Julia.